So in this tradition, there's a, a thing called Jiva Mukti, which means liberated in life. And it means that you can become self-realized and you don't have to go anywhere. You can, when I say from that vantage point, I mean that this is what I mean. From the vantage point of Jiva and Mukti, of being, of recognizing your real nature and embodying that, but not having to renounce or reject any of this. The other way that it gets described in this tradition is that, um, by this Siddha from the uh, 10th, 11th century named Abhinavagupta. So he really kind of synthesized a whole bunch of different streams of Tantra that were around at that time and made this tradition what it is now. And he said, you are either the player or the played. So the played is when you have forgotten your nature and you think you are really this and only this. And so you suffer from loneliness and other kinds of things. But if you were the player, you would realize that you are all of these people and none of them at the same time. And so it would just be fun. It would just be enjoyable. You wouldn't have to turn your back on it because it would all just be yourself. So why would you bother turning your back on any of it? You would be enjoying it like a painter enjoys their painting or like a dramatist enjoys their drama. So Abhinavagupta said the goal of practice is to become the player rather than played.